morning. Um, so we've just woken up. Slept all right last night, but uh, I did wake up in the middle of the night and see that it was minus 11. And um, it's now uh, probably about half seven. I'll show you this. Hello. Isn't this just full of quick cuteness? I've left them both in bed. Um, basically, I've just woken up to come make, <coughs> come make some breakfast. But the water is frozen. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and when I'm opening the tap, there's nothing. It's just, like I can see there, it's just frozen. So, uh, the heater's been on now. Sorry about the dishes. <laughs> um, the heater's been on for at least half an hour before, um, before I got out of bed. And that's made no difference. The water tank's on the other side of the heater, so actually, theoretically, it should heat it up. But it's made no difference. Um, the temperature gauge inside is saying 5.5. As I said, the heat has been on now for a good half an hour. So I dared to think what it was before. <laughs> um, and I've just taken the window covers off. And we have nice amount of ice. That's not condensation, that's definitely... That's definitely ice inside. And uh, James, his response to this is, oh that's good, because that means I can use my new scraper. I'll show you that once he's using it. But uh, it's good to know we get positives with these things. But uh, I'm gonna try and make some breakfast now without water. Hopefully it'll defrost soon. Oh. But we had the electric blanket on pretty much all night last night, which I don't think we've done so far. So it was it was very cold, um, and my nose kept on getting cold. But uh, other than that, we didn't have the diesel heater on, um, which is good because diesel's so expensive right now. But uh, anyway, gonna get breakfast on. I just wanted to show you what minus 11 does to you. Morning guys, um, so we are now on our way to, where done? Awesome. show them your gammy eye. No, I'm, I'm wearing glasses, not because I think I'm overly cool, but because I've managed to burst a blood vessel in my eye, which I think is either due to, what was it? Um, I think it's due to the climate, as in how yeah. high we've gone up. Just I think you know, straight off stuff on, on your eyes. Um, so I have been straining my eyes a lot in like Sweden around all those the speed cameras that they have, and so I obviously wear my glasses to try and give my eyes a little bit of a, a break. And uh, yeah, Dawn's doing the sterling job, aren't you, Dawn? <laughs> so now we're really excited. We booked into a campsite um, two for two nights, which I'm quite grateful on because. Um, might just give us a time to kind of, um, you know, unwind for a bit, do some of our laundry and just general van maintenance. The Aurora is scheduled to show up tonight in Tromso, so we're quite excited. So hopefully, fingers crossed, for the next two nights it's saying that it's likely. Um, so hopefully we'll, we'll get to see some of the Aurora. the road to just come and take a little break, walk Mary a little bit, she's starting to get a bit claustrophobic. 
bit crabby pants, won't you, Mary Mouse? Oh God! Oh Jesus! Mary, come here. Let me take you off the lead. This is dangerous. Mary. I know, but I'm just worried. I don't want to have to go and get Stretch your legs, don't you, baby girl? Mary? Hiya! Hiya! It's actually not as cold as, uh, as you'd think. Or it is cold, but it's not, it's not like bitterly cold. Just want to say, world, you are amazing. I'm so glad that we're seeing so much of you now. <laughs> Never, ever, ever, if it wasn't for van life, would we be stopping somewhere like this. It's not a tourist place, it's not anything. It's just, it's just amazing. She's like a little torpedo. She's fine. She's fine. Look at you. Because she needed to run around. It's fine. Good girl. Mary. Mary. What's that? That's Petroni the Droni. Mary! Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Sad if we don't get to see it. I don't want to go 
too much further. <laughs> oh, don't be a wood. Cheers, baby. Cheers. So not seeing the aurora, but still having a nice time. Cheers. So we've been here for what an hour and a half. Maybe two hours. We yeah. have to go back down at latest at eleven. Latest at eleven. But um, we just read the forecast and they say twenty percent. Yeah. So, Seeing the light and the other places, apart from Trump's that we're going to see tonight. Don't know. We're not sure, are we? So we're a bit cold and the wind is really set up. So. Oh, a bit sorry for Mary, though. Yeah, Mary's also obviously here and she's bored. And I think if we're in the van, we can keep Mary inside while she can spend a bit more time. Yeah, so do you want to actually go elsewhere? Or do you want to just go down? Maybe. Yeah, we're going to the only thing is, is that the forecast is saying basically for the next seven days it's like rainy and horrible around here. Yeah, another half an hour is not going to change anything, I don't think. Have you got the tickets? I What was that guy saying? He said he's been to Finland, Sweden. And he said if you take a picture of it and you filter it, yeah. you might see a glimpse of it. That's the scene. Well, that was a bit of a no go. Yeah. But, um, hang on, let me clean the screen a bit. But, um, so glad that we went. Right? Yeah, I'm glad we went because it was nice to go up to the top and see Tromso. And it was really clear. And it was really clear. Maybe. But I must admit, I'm a bit bummed because I think we're going to have to do a lot more digging around, digging, digging around, Chasing. and potentially maybe stay up a lot later if we're going to want to yeah. see him. So we just spoke to one guy, an Australian guy who's been doing this for a while, and he said he's tried <coughs> four times in different places: Sweden, Norway, and Finland, and still hasn't seen one. And I'm like, don't tell me that. I've just driven 2,000 miles to get here. We. We have just driven 2,000 miles to get here. And, and he was like, oh, did you hear about, they, they were showing they were really big in Scotland. And I was like, yeah, I did see that as well. So I was like, could have just stayed in Scotland, Dawn. Great. I'll, I will be upset if we come all this way and we still don't see them. But I'm a bit hopefully bummed. we will. Alright, let's get back to the campsite before Mary totally undoes the bag because she knows that her treats are in the bag. Yeah, that's it. Mary, don't do that with your bag, please. No. No. Oh my god. It's actually here. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's here. Oh my god. It's here. I got it. Oh wow, it's beautiful. literally above our heads wow I could see it forming it just literally appeared out of nowhere wow it's stunning has it got no it's there wow 
Literally, we didn't even need to go anywhere. It's right yeah, here all so along. It'd be like from the top of the mountain, but I guess uh, we would have had to come down by now. What time is it? Oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Look at the camera. <laughs> wow. This is much better. Wow. Oh wow, that's getting so strong now. Wow. <gasps> look, look, it's dancing in yeah. the... Wow, it's actually dancing. <gasps> oh, wow. <gasps> James, look at... <gasps> oh my God, it's actually dancing. Oh my God. Wow, James is so strong there. Wow. Oh my God, I actually feel like I'm going to cry. <sighs> mm -hmm.